This episode of NSFW, we are joined by Patrick Norton and Brett Amtrek around Seville as we play a rousing game of Never Have I Ever, and plus, the ultimate, definitive Mollywood interview. Stick around. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 9 for January 27th, 2010. Never have I ever. Wind chill factor about 23, humidity 85%, a north wind at 13 miles an hour. Picking up some snow, are we? Yes, we are. In Princeton, we picked up nine inches of snow. Bill Ricca had seven, the biggest amount that I could find, almost as big as me, about nine inches. Bill Ricca, seven, <laughs> oh and in Stone, we had the six. Fact that, the fact that he actually does that sidelong glance when he says almost as big as me, and he looks off to the side as if, like, the producer is over there going, your career's over. Why did you do that? <laughs> or maybe, maybe I like to think the other side, and, like, they all know he's packing, and they're all just like, yeah, yeah, let the world know. They need to. <laughs> Well, the fact that he goes at night is... Oh, who cares? All right, guys. Hey, it is the new show, show full of win. NSFW here on the Twit Network. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood. I put the BB into the NSFW. And there's my little name tag right down there. I'm joined by my inimitable co-host, who appears to be missing the top of his head because it's black on black right there. we go. It's the poor man's Vinny Chase. It's Justin Robert Young. From one cable TV show to the other. You were Charlie Day, and now you're Vinny Chase. Uh, at least I'm on pay now. At yeah. least, at least I'm, I'm on. I'm on a premium channel. Granted, my show is about six years past its prime, <laughs> but uh, at least now people are paying for the privilege to see it. We should. Uh, there was a there was a brilliant sketch. I think it was a college humor one where they just sort of broke all of all of Entourage for me. Did you see that one? Where was the writers' it to meeting? You, if you remember. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, good. Well, then that's yes. So well done, Vinny Chase, the junior. And of course, there we're joined we by the chat room. We have two incredible guests calling in today, both of them putting toddlers to bed at this very moment. Who do we have on tap? Justin Robert Young. Oh my God. From, uh, of course, Buzz Out Loud, Molly Wood will be joining us in the program. That was a nice and save there, by the way, when you said, from uh, the very important show. Uh, no, you want to know what? I, I couldn't remember Patrick Norton's show. And so I went <laughs> to the one that I did know. But I do know that Patrick Norton, of course, will also be joining us. He of Techzilla and uh, what, HD Nation. Is that the HD new HD one? Nation is HD his new Nation. one. HD Nation. And, of course, this week in, in, in I was going to say this week, Twit, but this week in Tech, but twi the original Twit. He was one of the original Twits on Twit. Yes, yes. And he is on uh, very, very often. This is going to be fun because Molly's on Twit a lot and you're on Twit from time to time. It's going to be like Twit plus me and drinks. This is actually, I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't have to, I didn't want to have to explain this to you, but uh, this is actually just a big put on. We know your birthday is coming up, and so I actually thought it'd be great for you to live out your fantasy. I know you've always wanted to be on This Week in Twit, so I got Patrick Norton and Molly Wood. We're going to pretend like you're actually on the show. It's going to be very exciting. Oh my God! <laughs> By the way, uh, those of you watching on the video feed may notice what looks suspiciously like a 13-year-old in the background. Uh, that is my new assistant, Mr. OMG Chad who uh, experienced his first week on the road, a brutal schedule, which is why I'm all out of sorts, which is why we're shooting this on an off day. Normally, we're Tuesday nights at, uh, at, at 9 p.m. Central, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, but tonight we're not. And why is that, Justin? Well, because, Brian, you're a big dummy. And uh, <laughs> you uh, decided we were gonna, this is going to be a real special episode. It was on the Twit calendar. Uh, you were going to be live in the cottage. The place where all the magic happens. Yeah. Uh, we were going to have all sorts of special guests. There was going to be a musical act. Literally, uh, was, literally. The yeah. reason I found out is because I was hitting up I was hitting up Patrick. I was like, come on, dude, come out to the cottage. It's going to be amazing. And, and he was just like, uh, minor question. How are you going to do that and shoot Scam School that same night? I was like, what are you talking about? I'll shoot Scam School until Wednesday and, and Thursday and Thursday. And on the calendar here, it says Tuesday as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> and so I had a minor heart attack. 
figured out that we could do this tonight and move forward here. Yeah, unfortunately, we lost the deposit on the fireworks, and uh, we want our, all of our apologies to uh, Cirque du Soleil's Cousa, which was going to perform on the show. But uh, unfortunately, we got to do it on Monday. We'll get them back next time. Okay, so yeah. here's, here's the thing. This is a rare occasion to have two tech luminaries who really know their stuff, right? These are people who are at the heart. These are people who are invited to the big Apple event on Wednesday. And surely, now that we have them on NSFW, we're going to make good use of their talents. We're actually going to take advantage of stuff and make some real tech magic. What do we have in store for them, Justin Robert Young? Why, it's a game played by 18-year-olds the world round. Yes! Yes! Never have I ever. America's favorite uh, coming-of-age drinking game, where you trick each <laughs> other into drinking way too much booze and confessing things that you wouldn't normally say out in public. How does the game work, in case somebody has lived under a rock and never been to college? Well, folks, if you've never tried to trick your girlfriend in con into confessing that she's kissed her best friend, here's <laughs> how the game is played. Uh, you uh, go ahead and say something. Normally, here's how it goes. You're in a, a fun little drinking situation. You all have a beer, which uh, I, me and Brian have uh, juice boxes here on hand. Uh, and you say, never have I ever, let's say, driven a black car. That would right. be one. Right. Okay? Although that's not quite now, as everybody racy. Everybody around... Sorry, go ahead, Brian. Oh, I, was, I was just going to say, that's, that's an awfully tame example. But let's say, let's say yes. you know, me personally, I have driven a black car. But let's say, for, for example, you have not. So how would this go? Yes. If I have not, I do nothing. Right. If I have, which Brian has, he drinks. Right. And you got to remember that 90% of our audience is audio. So we have to make sure that we tell the audience who's drinking and who's not, right? Exactly. So Brian drank, I did not. Correct. Uh, that's how never have I ever is played. However, we're going to be doing it a little different because this is, you know, the internet. We want the internet to basically call the line dance here, people. So there's going to be a few twists, a few turns, and by and large, the internet, including the live chat room here, is going to be deciding the never have I ever's. So cook them up in your brain, kids. Right. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what, if you wanted to be involved in this, it's probably too late if you're listening to the audio podcast, but follow uh, at Schwood or at Justin R. Young if you want to be a part of these fun reindeer games in the future. Yeah, and I tell you what, for those of you guys watching live, and even if you're missing missing us, uh, one quick announcement about uh, about uh, Scam School 100. We're coming up on our 100th episode. We're doing a couple of fun things. We're actually having a huge party on Thursday at uh, the Encore Karaoke Lounge in San Francisco. Uh, hopefully we'll get a bunch of people on there, uh, drunk, singing stuff. If you guys sing, run DMCs. It's tricky with me in person this Thursday night at San Francisco. Uh, second of all, we want you to be there virtually. So if you if you want to demonstrate a scam school effect or talk about, you know, say congrats or whatever, go ahead and put a YouTube video up and just put tweet it out with hashtag scam school 100 or just at reply me or send it to me directly. My email is all over the place and uh, we'll get that. We'll collect all those and you can be on our 100th episode. Uh, and before we bring on our guests, there was one other thing. Uh, first of all, how great was it having Greg Grunberg? Matt Parkman from Heroes on last week's episode. Who? Yeah, Matt, Matt Parkman. Greg, Greg Grumberg. He, he was also the pilot in The Pilot of Lost. He got eaten by the smoke monster. Super famous. 1.4 million followers. Um, Nothing. Wait, that, was, that was August Trometer's friend? Yes, August Trometer's friend. Oh, yeah, no. He was a nice guy. He yeah, cool no, guy. okay, no, yeah. Of course. Craig Grumberg, Matt Parkman from Heroes. He was absolutely awesome. We want to thank him for being as, uh, as cool as he was. In fact, he gave us a little shout out on, on, on the Twitter. Right? Well, that's, that's, what I, that's what I was getting at because uh, we woke up like the next day and he had tweeted out. I, I, don't, I don't have it in front of me. I don't know if you can find it super fast, but he basically said, Justin R. Young and Schwood, two of the most hilarious, genuine guys, and then in all caps, must follow them. 1.4 million Twitter followers got this. People yep. from all walks yep. of life. This is somebody that they care enough to follow his every word. And how it, you you and I, we called each other. We were just like, I know. we got to get ready we're for like, the deluge, my let's friend. Wait. Let, let's wait for the Twitter followers to roll in. I mean, we were figuring like, all right, if 1%. 1%? That would be, that would be does, thousands. Yeah. You know, if 1% did. Then we would, you know, I would. That's right. One, one percent would have been fourteen thousand. We that's what we were thinking of. With one in a hundred sign up, fourteen thousand. And how many did you get, sir? Final tally, twelve. 
I, I was <laughs> I was confused. I was confused because there was no music hit when you did that. You got exactly 12 people, which I think is so fascinating because it says something about the weird culture of the internet and, and people follow you have different levels of activity in your followers. You had a theory about this specifically, right? Uh well, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I think a, a lot of people just follow Matt Parkman on Heroes and they like him, and maybe they're not super avid Twitter people and they don't want to follow new guys, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they just hate my name. Maybe they just look at my name and <laughs> you think know what? I'm some sort of weird siege. Maybe they had already read his previous tweet and they actually watched NSFW, and that's why yes. we got the big fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about one other thing while we're waiting to get our, our callers on the air. Uh, and I wasn't going to bring this up, but but we did say if we had time, we would talk about this in advance. Uh, yes. I don't know. Chat, chat room, do you guys watch the, uh, the America's Got Talent? It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, America's Got Talent. It's uh, on prime well, time. Well, of course, it, it's 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 the summer uh, hit of the season. When, when American Idol is done, uh, you know, America's Got Talent pretty much takes over. That uh, that that slot there, a ratings juggernaut, one would say. Yeah, well, the uh, a lot of people don't know that I actually got a call. It's it's produced by the same people as as uh, American Idol. Uh, people ask all the time, "Hey, you should be on America's Got Talent sometime." And I tell them, "Well, actually, they they asked me, but when they asked me, it was the very first season, and they said uh, send in your full show. They wanted to see the full show. They didn't want to see a highlight reel or anything like that. So I sent them a copy of the full show, and they watched the entire show beginning to end. And they said, uh, they said, wow, you have some very unique stuff. And of course, that's something that my stage show, the magic show, we pride ourselves on is that we try to do unique original magic. I'm like, yeah, isn't it? And she's like, listen, uh, I think we got a spot for you. We want you to do the bit where you break a brick over your head. And I'm thinking to myself, it's like, uh, well, I mean, there's, that's, that's not original. That's something that wrestlers do and, and hayseeds on a dare. I mean, that's, uh, you know, it's like, don't, don't you, Mr. Happy Pants is an award-winning comedy routine and, uh, and the fire eating is very good and all these other things. They're like, no, we want you to break a brick on your head. And as difficult as it was, I was like, I suspected that maybe, I was like, I think they're looking for filler. So I said no. And then it ends up that among magicians, and you know this because you run eye tricks, right? Yes. That, 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 yes. That, that, that what is the reputation of America's Got Talent among magicians? Uh, not so good, Brian. <laughs> uh, you know, not only does it have a really bad reputation of kind of running people through the mill during the initial audition stuff, um, where, you know, it's just, uh, you know, one after another effects that are cut. So it looks like the magician's screwing up and, uh, they make it look like a big comedy reel or guys like Kevin James who make it a little bit through who, uh, you know, the, the judges don't like the effect and just start calling out method and stuff. Right, right. Like literally right on the air, which is horrifying. In fact, uh, magicians, uh, there was one article that called it Americans Got Schadenfreude, which I thought was very, <laughs> very appropriate. So here's the thing. They yeah. have a reputation for totally screwing over magicians. And I think it's a deserved one. I think they clearly know that they're, that they're a, a, a beast to deal with. And this year... They asked me again, and, and they called me again, and they, they were saying, well, look, we, we – and, and actually, I think what happened was it was a different producer. It was a different producer from the first one who said, uh, wow, you've got – this is amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Because by this point, here's what I suspect happened, is when they first saw my act, they were like, well, this is just weird. And then they, they blew over it. But then they saw how similar – many acts in magic are and now they came back to it saying wow this guy's actually really different and so they asked me to come in uh, again and i'm really i'm really conflicted about whether or not i should do it and i wanted to care i i actually wanted to get your thoughts specifically about this but also from the chat room in general uh well my my opinion is it's a numbers game and if you can get on there wearing an nsfw t-shirt <laughs> somehow i don't think they're gonna let me but yeah NSFW on the T-shirt, you're going to be good to go. I think that's the way to go. Oh, is that the way to so go? Yes, I'm for it. Okay, so <laughs> as long as now, what if I don't get to wear a T-shirt that says NSFW? I got a backup plan. A backup plan at Justin R. Young on your T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I see. I see where you're headed there. <laughs> I think yeah. That apparently people are suggesting the chat room a TPIA shirt. Uh, <laughs> Well, the, the the thing that I came up with is is it basically boils down to, first of all, what's the worst they can do? And there's a couple of bits I got that are really pretty much bulletproof. It's like, you know, like the, the hand stab that I did on The Tonight Show. It's like, 
the worst they could do is portray that as if I actually injured myself live on stage, in which case, that'd be kind of cool if millions of people thought I actually stabbed myself live on stage, as many on the internet do with that, with that viral video that's going around. Indeed, but, indeed. I, I think, listen, Brian, I mean, in all, in all reality, I think you're going to be all right. Uh, as long as you, you stick to what you do. I mean, I've heard what, what you think uh, you, you might want to do on the show, and I think it's a great bit. It's a great idea, and uh, you should rock And nothing could it. go wrong. Nothing could go wrong here at all. Chat room nope. is, the chat room is not behind you, by the way. The chat room definitely uh, says, says do not do it, but, you know, whatever. I mean. Well, here's the thing everybody has to understand. It, you know, there is, you know, there's a numbers game to everything. Right. You know, there's a reason why, you know, when we were doing BB Live show, it was a, it was a, a good opportunity to go to Twit and do NSFW because it, it, you know, gives us access to more people and lets us scale up what we want to do and gives us, a, you know, ultimately a better show for more people. So if you like NSFW and you just like this show, it's good for Brian to go out there so more people understand what our show's about. We're able to do bigger and better things that will be delighted or to the delight of all of you folks. That's, that's what I'm hoping because it's the kind of thing where it's like they ask you one question and then they cut out a sound bite and then that's just who you are. And when they get to that question, like, what do you do? And it's like they, they want every story to be portrayed as if you are being discovered for the first time. So what you don't get to say is, I'm a host of an award-winning show show on the internet but what you can say is like well believe it or not i'm kind of famous on the internet i make these videos on the youtube and if it's something that gets thousands of people to you know look look up your name and uh, and try to actually find you in online if it gets them to discover scam school to discover uh nsfw well then that's you know that's a good thing as far as i'm concerned i mean that's a uh, I think it's, I, basically, it's like millions, six million people will say, and I'm making that number up, will see, will see me for one minute, and that's a lot of impressions that you make at that one moment. All right. Uh, so I think we, we've come to a conclusion on America's Got Talent. I have breaking news. As always, the chat room just solves mysteries. We might as well call them gumshoe the chat room <laughs> because all they do is solve the problems in our lives. Uh, I think they, they figured out why Greg Grumberg only gave us a paltry amount of followers. Why is that, sir? He wrote it as a at Justin R. Young. Oh. Justin, at Justin R. Young was the first thing in that tweet. Which oh, was only no. seen by people who are following both him and me or him oh, and you. Oh, no. So even my fans didn't see it. If they were following me, they didn't see it. Oh, that's horrific. That is a tragedy. Yeah. That is that is like my heart just broke in two. I've got nothing it. now. All if right. If you would just, hey, guys, blank, 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 blank. Right. It, it been, we would have been swimming. Oh, my so God. All right, well, I don't know about you, but there's only one way to solve that, and that's to get blindingly drunk right now. And luckily, we're joined from Purple Paradise by Molly <laughs> Wood. What? I can't make it stop. I don't know how to make it not <laughs> night vision. Okay, well, hold on. Oh, is it in night vision mode? Is that what's going on? I guess so. I guess <laughs> Maybe next time you'll listen to Mr. Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. He but told I thought you. it would add to the, like, effect of drunkenness. <laughs> that's right. We'll just pretend that this is like a point of view camera. Like, like when I get really really sauced then we'll just pretend this is how i see you right now yeah, and in fact i'll kind of i'll just kind of jiggle it around back and forth <laughs> well uh, like so huddling with the black eyes uh uh wait do you, you don't have black eyes what are you talking about well i do in the night vision in the night vision yeah you do look a little bit like you said yeah, the wrong I thing I to I don't. over dinner. <laughs> I'm going to play with things. <laughs> all right, well, here's the game, all right? Now, by the way, we've already set everything up. Everyone knows we're playing Internet and Never Have I Ever. You are familiar with the game. Is that correct, Miss Molly Wood? I um, Googled it earlier. You go <laughs> you go earlier being in college? Is that when you Googled it? <laughs> oh, she's frozen now. I don't know if we lost her already. That's all right. Just right. We'll just cut back to her and pretend like every time we ask her a question... Just smile if 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 that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> it is like yeah. For those who can't see, yeah, Molly Wood is frozen with a very ginger smile upon her delicate face. <laughs> well, it would be awesome if we were just like if we did like uh, never have I ever, and then it's like we just uh, we cut to her and when she doesn't drink because she's frozen, we're just we're just like what you never did, oh Molly Wood. Well, why don't you play the game, Barty Boober? Blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't take long. I tell you what, while we're waiting for her to get on, let's just get this started. We're going to play first round, okay? First round, bada bing, bada boom, uh, I'm going to go first. And I'm going to start by taking one from the Wheel of Death. Explain the Wheel of Death okay. to us. 
Here, here's how the uh, the choices are going to go. Uh, we have the Wheel of Death, we have uh, Chat Room Decides, or we have a jury of your peers in which everybody else playing the game will decide the Never Have I Ever that you will have to submit to. So Brian has selected the Wheel of Death. Which, which uh, by which the way, will... we, we tasted the fruits of the Wheel of Death, which doesn't sound right at all. It tasted like death. There are some pretty terrible ones in there. Some of them are just, like, not appropriate. By the way, the chat room is convinced that what just happened was Molly heard what she was really into or what she was really in for and just got the hell out. Like, Molly was just like, never have I ever. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, she left a, a hole the size of Molly Wood in the internet as she scampered out. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and do the, uh, the uh, rage quiz. All right, the Wheel of Death, this was submitted by at Armored Spike to me on Twitter. It is a list of 225 uh, uh, Never Have I Ever's. Some a little lame, some a little risque, no. some might say. No. Uh -huh. Perhaps appropriate uh, for a show called NSFW where we're not allowed to curse. Indeed. Indeed. Well, we're semi. We're we're encouraged. We not to try curse. very we're hard saying. not to curse. We're like exactly. we're like the Mormon filthy pants, where it's like we feel real <laughs> guilty every time we curse on this show. We are we are we are the Andrew Dice Clay of Provo, Utah. <laughs> That's the way we like to look at ourselves. <laughs> where it's like basically we let stuff slip, then we go, "Oh, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. I shouldn't uh, have said that." Uh, yeah. Four hail marys. <laughs> um, all right, Brian. The wheel of death is consisting of 225 separate pegs. Please pick your number. Pick my peg? Pick I'm peg. all about 134. For some reason, that one just feels right to me. <laughs> By the way, chat room is accusing me. They're saying Brian curses like an Amish sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the old, the dreaded Amish Navy? Mm. <laughs> the Mennonite Marines. <laughs> What was, right. your, what was your number again? I said 134, sir. 134. I should probably give us one 134. One All right. What's my phrase? Okay. Yes. Never have I ever used somebody else's toothbrush without telling them. We both indeed drink on that. And what's funny is I remember the exact time. I remember the exact time. And it was a total stranger. It wasn't like a random hookup. It was like, it was like, uh, oh man, it's a, I, I crashed at somebody's house after a gig and, uh, and it was a friend of a friend who I, I kind of knew the guy, but I didn't know his family at all, but I didn't have a toothbrush the entire time. And I got up and it was like, I just had liquid death inside, like coated over my teeth. It was like the black sludge from the X-Files. And it was like, I, I couldn't tolerate existing at that moment. And I just, I just, there was nobody in the house and I just yanked their thing and I washed it off real well and washed it. And, and then I said four Hail Marys. Yeah, I, I'm of the, um, the, the, I believe in the theory that if you brush fast enough, nothing can stay on it. And all the, <laughs> all the, the toothbrush uh, suds there. We'll just wash away. Okay, now so I'm assuming really, really, really fast. I'm assuming that your story is one where you actually. Um, <laughs> uh, oh man, hold on. We just got it. We just got a Twitter from Molly. It says, "Oh, for f's sake, rain knocked out the internet. Kid won't sleep, giving up on life for the moment." Although I do think it's sweet that she said giving up on life when what she really meant is that she was giving up on us. On us. <laughs> on us. There we but go. That's very folks. sweet that she was able to put that in there. Hopefully we'll get Patrick Norton on here. This will be the show that, uh, all right, well, you know what? Screw it. Let's you and me, we'll just get hammered and play this game. What are you going to do? Wheel of Death, Jerry uh, of your peers, yeah. or chat right. room? What's it going to be? Uh, never have I ever given up on life, Molly. <laughs> She's drinking at home alone. Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, thank thank you very much to Molly Wood for stopping by. Yeah, no, that's that was good that she stopped. She was there actually only she was supposed to be like the ribbon cutter just to send us off to get things started here. Now we're underway. What are you going to take, Jury? You going to take Jury of your peers, chat room? Me? I am going to take the chat room. Although before I do that, uh, people are, are, are saying down there, uh, if we can get one Brett Amtrek or Roundsville off the bench. Oh, heck Maybe yeah. No, can... that's a great idea. Yeah, if Amtrek or you All know... Right, well, here, I'm, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You guys need to bombard Brett with uh, Twitters. Tweets. Tweets. 
Tweets. Tweets. Tweets. Tweets. Tweets. Uh, okay, well, look, let's yeah, uh, let's and while you're at it, and try to get Andrew. While you're at it, chat room, it's up to you right now. Go ahead and give us a collection of, of you know, one or the others. Let's go. No, not one or the others. Never oh, yeah. No, I never ever. have I ever. Sorry. I was busy yeah. looking for something to click. <laughs> never have I ever so been ahead. affiliated with the Communist now, Party. Brian, you got to pick it out, though. Uh, I've got to pick it out. I, uh, yeah. I'm seeing like, have you ever tried to use a lame hobby or talent to try to pick up chicks? Have I ever had a gay aught? <laughs> um, let me see. Never have. I, see, these are they're making jokes instead of actually. Oh, there we go. Never have I ever seen my dad naked. That's a good one. That's my winner. Now, was it traumatic? Two we, drinks, we, folks. We, we both drank. We both drank there. Was it traumatic or was it a big deal? Uh, geez, that would really take a really dark turn. <laughs> if it was uh, a really, really horrible chapter of my life that I had to relive on the internet, huh? It's like I ask, I ask off Annalie, like, was it traumatic or what? You're like, oh, well, actually, Brian, it was New <laughs> Year's Eve, 1979. And I... <laughs> <laughs> you just see me. It's like one of like the greatest internet breakdowns of all time. <laughs> Tears start streaming down my face. I never admitted it to myself. <laughs> I had forgotten before tonight. So I'm guessing uh, it was yeah, that. Yeah, no, no. There, I mean, obviously, as as a young boy, uh, a father might teach his son how to how to take a shower or bathe himself. I don't think it's anything weird. But uh, yeah, it definitely uh, came eye to eye. With, uh, but let's just say my eyes, father's man. Eyes to eye is what you're trying to say. Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> uh, on my side, uh, man, my dad's like a three-year-old who refuses to put on his clothes. He'll run around naked as much as possible. Papa Schwood, if you give him a pair of tennis shoes, that's all he needs for the rest of his life. If it were up to him. So he's just... He's just out there. Yeah, the I mean, time. that's his preference across the board. Like, I'm flattered when I show up. I always call before I don't arrive at his house unannounced. I always call beforehand. But, and so at least he's wearing some, uh, you know, robe or something. <laughs> he's very right, comfortable. So you, know, you, don't just, you don't just walk in and it's just swinging back and forth. You hear the baby elephant music <laughs> as he goes from the kitchen to the living room. <laughs> I'm not going to say that that hasn't happened, but, uh, you know, it's just like you grow up with it. And that's, you know, he's cool with it. And I guess I'm cool with it. And so it's it's all cool, man. It's no big deal. <laughs> Everything's cool. Just your dad's dog. No big deal. <laughs> don't weird out about it. But it's, but it's you know, I don't know. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's not weird. It's just, uh, anyway, can we move on? I don't know. I'm, I'm the one about to have a breakdown now, dude. <laughs> You're the one who picked this. I no, do, okay, you're right. I did actually. I didn't. I didn't think <laughs> it was. Had, I had a story. You had the choice of all the chat room, and you honed in on this. <laughs> all right. Well, let's do this. Uh, uh, it's my turn again. So I'm gonna do it's your turn. Your I'm gonna turn. do jury of my peers. I'm gonna let, and this is especially appropriate because it's J R Y. Justin Robert just Young. Me. Jury of my peer. Jury of my peer. Singular. Meanwhile, okay. it's like I'm I'm madly trying to uh, trying to call trying to call to get uh, Patrick Norton on the line. Like, come on, Patrick, please answer, <laughs> please answer, please answer. All right, here we go. Then I'll say something that would I'd be embarrassed to say in front of Patrick Norton. Uh, never have I ever used a uh, racial or sexual epithet during sex. <laughs> You're saying you're saying never have I ever used like like said racist words while racist words, sexist words, really, uh, and and uh, yeah. Well, now, hold on, I, I, like, it's, it's got to be one or the other because yeah, like no, 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 no. all right, uh, racial words, racial words. Okay, a, a racial yes. racial but a racially charged word during intercourse. All right, and yes. Oh, close, but no cigar. Yeah, but folks. hang on. I'm not, I'm looking to see if you're drinking. Oh, no. No, you uh, have. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and drink because I'm pretty sure I have. <laughs> I just love this idea that you just don't even remember. You're just like, you're just like, whatever. <laughs> you know, and here's the deal. I can't remember if I have. It sounds like something that I do. So the next time I have sex, I'll make sure to do it. Oh, my like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there's there's that. So look out, ladies. <laughs> look out, ladies. All right. So it's back to you then. How do you jury of your peers, <laughs> the chat room, or the wheel of death? 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead with, uh, with, with the wheel of death. But, you know, I'll tell you what. If uh, right now, uh, you know, uh, Bollywood uh, was here and, and gone, well, it's what we like to call in the business a quick cameo. Yes. Um, Patrick Norton, yet to call in. Obviously, he has a lot of stuff to do. Uh, yes. Amtrekker so far, um, not not calling in. So how about we go ahead and open up the uh, the phone lines and let oh, people call in with snap. their own. That's a hell of an idea. That's the, let me tell you something, kid. That's the kind of balls to the wall gumption that's going to take to get this show all the way to number one. Go wild. <laughs> Just have anyone call in who wants to. That's outrageous, son. It's that kind of thing that's going to make NSFW the bee's knees. The kid will be talking about it all over the place. I tell you, it'll be just like Yowza. Yowza. It's savings in your pockets. All right, hold on. We actually have Patrick Norton calling in right now. Finally. Oh! His timing is impeccable. This is just like this is just like on television. At the moment when it's darkest, when you think there's no salvaging this, finally we get somebody on. Is that Patrick Norton on the line? Are you there, buddy? <laughs> That's him chuckling at us. Are you watching the show at all? Did you get the, the tyke off to bed? Tykes off to bed. They awesome. literally have just like logged everything in and launched it up. Oh, that's awesome. And then uh, and, and, like, I'm like, I can't find the uh, the not safe for work show login. Oh, so no. So I fire up Twitter since you seem to pay more attention to Twitter than the email or your phone. <laughs> no, that's true. That is true. It's, t it's tough when it's like live and all that kind of crap. But I'm glad, uh, I'm glad because I don't think I had your email. Oh, no, you did. You gave it to me and yeah. I totally wrote it down and forgot it. That's the nice nope. thing about Twitter. You don't have to remember anything. Literally, the top tweet on TweetDeck was was Mollywood, internet down, child won't sleep, webcam stuck on night vision, appearance yeah. on NSFW with Schwood failed. At least on fourth <laughs> one. Yeah, she actually bailed out on us. And then it's, and then we're, so far, we're, by the way, it's like, it's bad enough. The only thing worse than the, the drinking alone is drinking, like playing a drinking game with just two guys who know each other really, really well. <laughs> and it's hard, it's hard to even come up with anything. To, but uh, hey, if you can set this video, we'll throw you on the screen. But otherwise, we'll be happy to have you just by audio. We're just glad you joined us. First of all, real quick, you know how to play Never Have I Ever. Is that correct? Uh, I, I believe so. Okay. You might want to refresh the rules just in case it's changed since my early 20s. Okay, okay. well, basically, <laughs> it we're going to... be Texas versus New York rules. It's, it's good to get the finer points down. Uh, what, okay, well, basically, the, the only variation we're doing is still like, if, if you've done it, you drink. If you haven't, then you don't. Uh, but... You, uh, the, the, one tr the one trick here is that uh, we're picking it, instead of just having your friends pick it for you or you pick it for yourself, we're having uh, either a jury of your peers, like me and, and Justin come up with one, or you can mm -hmm. put it to the chat room, or we have a list of canned responses. We call it the wheel of death, and you can go with one of those. So since you are new to it, which do you want to go with? You want to go with the wheel of death, the, the chat room, or a jury of your peers, sir? I, I, I can't decide if it's the peers or the, or the wheel of death. It's a tough call. Wheel of death is probably a safe one. That, well, no, you know, well, we're going to be doing peers, a couple of these here, Pat. So, <laughs> yeah, you can pick one, and then next time, pick the other. All right, he's going with jury of your peers, which means you got to pick a number between 1 and 240. Patrick Norton, 13. what do you no, got? No, 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 no. No, jury of the peers is us. Oh, no, no, no. He said, I'm sorry. Uh, I said wheel of death. I said the one, but I meant okay. the other. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I was I was peers. 13's a good number, too. All right. There you go. Okay, just go with number 13. <laughs> All right. Number 13, never have I ever gotten carded. Oh, that's silly. That's everyone drinks on that. <laughs> What was this done in like 1982 when it was a big deal to card someone? <laughs> what it's like? Yeah. It's like Actually, I just. <laughs> I keep laughing because there's all these places now that card you no matter how old you are. And I mean, you know, I mean, look at me. Obviously, I'm far, far beyond 21 at this point. Yeah. But I've been carded. I got carded more like after the age of 21 than I did before, and I got carded a lot more in the last like last two or three years in San Francisco. They card everywhere. It's, it's like when they when they want to card me, what I want to do is take off my glasses, turn to the side, and smile so they can see my crow's feet. I'm like, that's my freaking ID, lady. Now give me a booze. All right. Let me drink away the sorrows that only an elder man can wield. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Uh, I guess it's back to me, isn't it? I'm going to do... It is. I'm going to do is. chat room, but chat room, you guys have to be faster on the draw. Chat room, start throwing up the never have I ever's, and let's see what we got right here. Um, never have ever had a crush on a friend's parent. Oh, that's a great <laughs> one. I'll, I'll, I'll pick this one here, Okay. Bro. All right. You, oh, you go ahead. I kind of like that one right off the beginning. <laughs> all right. I got... All right. I, I, got, I got one here. All right. You got it? All right. 
All right, this one comes from slightly used in the chat room. He writes, never have I ever peed in a bottle. <laughs> oh, that's so... Uh, as somebody... As somebody, in a car doing more or more or less than right, hold on, hold on. I do not believe Justin has has. Dr nope. Want to know why? Because what? I I attempted to and I peed all over my leg <laughs> in my car <laughs> while I was driving, and so that was it. Game over. <laughs> peeing in a bottle. Retired from my repertoire. <laughs> Gatorade bottles, dude. It's all about the Gatorade bottle. <laughs> yeah, I was about See, to say that was the problem. I had a little, a little tiny Zephyr Hills bottle, and let me just say that was harder than than Luke trying to hit the exhaust port at the end of Star Wars. <laughs> it was not happening. It's just like bullseye womp wraps back in Baker's Canyon. I'll tell you what also works is the wide mouth diet Mountain Dews, and that has the benefit of like you know later. When you throw away a bottle of Mountain Dew, nobody's like, "Why? Well, there's nothing crazy about that Mountain Dew at all." <laughs> theoretically, theoretically. I mean, I guess like, clearly right. I drank. Uh, let me let me let me tell you just one story. So I used to have a friend that would do these drives back from uh, Flor or uh, Orlando to Tallahassee, and for some reason he just had this thing where one day I'm in the back of his car and I accidentally kick a jug like a milk jug, <laughs> and I look down and it is full of excrement. What? And, like what kind like of excrement? Just, uh, no, no, not not number two. It's one. Oh, he okay, okay. He peed in the jug, but I, as, I, as I pick it up to be like, oh my god, this is disgusting. I notice three more in his back seat. Holy he was just hoarding whoa. them, like Howard Hughes. I had that. I was in a cab once, and uh, there was the uh, folded over newspaper to the right of his seat, and I saw the peeking out of a, of a Pepsi cap. And uh, and and not Pepsi inside the bottle, which is a little bit disturbing no. as well. By the way, no. Brett Rounceville is finally calling in. Unfortunately, it's uh, the setup is every time I answer his video, it puts Patrick on pause. So we're gonna have to hold off on getting Brett on here, which I feel bad because we called him in and now we can't have him on. Because <laughs> we because we called down the thunder of Twitter to alert him and rouse him <laughs> from whatever he was doing. And then he shows up. He's like, "What's wrong, fellas? What's wrong? What can I do?" We're like, "Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. We got to work it out. Patrick's here. So it's, yeah, it's, everything's cool. Everything's cool." Speaking of which, it's your turn, Jerry. What's it gonna be? Pick one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead with a jury of my peers. Ooh, a good one. So I guess that's that's me and Patrick. Um, yeah. I want to do. Somebody said. Uh, somebody suggested one on Twitter. I thought was good. Never have I ever waited in line for a piece of plastic, like for a for a gizmo. Like and I know and I know what you're gonna do and I know what I'm gonna do but but you hold on let's see let's see let's see. Mm. So you did you waited in line wait wait you're not drinking Patrick did you not have you not ever done, never done that you never waited in line for anything? Oh I have you on mute for some reason because I'm an idiot there you go <laughs> say that say that again. I I don't think I've ever waited on the line for an iPod or an iPhone. What I mean, what? Pure laziness dude. What? <laughs> This is shocking, dude. This is huge. This is actual news on our show. I didn't expect that. Dude, I'm the king of the $500 PC. You think I'm going to wait around in the freaking line of people to pick it? Well, I think, you know, when I picked up my first iPhone, there was still a line, and it was like a week and a half, but it was like four people. It wasn't like I <laughs> yeah, got Yeah, no, that doesn't count. Before. That doesn't count. But, like, I was there for the iPhone launch. That was actually kind of magical. That's my wood stocked. That's, that what, I'm, that's what I'm going to tell my grandkids about. You don't no. understand. It was awesome. Dude, I, I, did, I did iPhone 1. I did iPhone 2. If you count uh, uh, Jake Lloyd's acting in Phantom Menace, uh, <laughs> then I waited in line for that, too. Yeah, that was pretty uh, mechanical, was not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's uh, your turn. Justin, what's it going to be? No, it's Patrick. Patrick's turn. Didn't. Yes, yes, because I can't keep track. What's it going to be? Uh, I'm going to try Wheel of Death this time. Wheel oh, of Death? I'm going to try to Wheel of Death. Yeah, well, he did it last time. He actually said jury of oh. my peers, and then I just and bullied him into to, to that well, one. I'll choose wheel of death, and now you're supposed to give me jury of my peers. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just do the opposite. <laughs> like, whatever he offers to do, we'll just give him the other one. <laughs> All right, so you're going to do a good job, sir. You chose jury of my peers. So uh, you got something for us, jury? Yeah, I want to I wanna, I wanna get something that he's definitely... Or that you suspect done. he's done, because this is a moment when you have a chance to actually, you know... Get inside the site. He's got to, he's got to, you know, he's got to either drink. You can't lie. That's the rule of never have I ever. You can't lie. <laughs> I mean, we could, we could do, you know, something like, uh, you know, never have I ever been arrested. That's always a good oh. one with someone that you've never met or talked to before. All right. Well, okay, okay. I, I, I want to get a clarification here. There is a difference between being handcuffed, being cited, and actually being booked and arrested, right? 
The mere fact that you know two that. Of those things I have had happen. I, I was about to say, the mere fact that you happened. know that tells me you've got a good story. What, what happened? First of all, I'm going to drink because I've been, I almost got arrested. I, I, I don't know if we have time for my story, but. <laughs> Actually, the, the, the yeah, I'm, night, I'm out. I, drank. I did not. You, you did what? Patrick? You did not? Oh, no, I did not. Uh, uh, okay, I'll, I'll tell my story super, super fast. I told it once on, uh, on the previous incarnation before NSFW. Real quick, bachelor party night. Bachelor party night, they make a list of stuff that I have to do. And it's a hardcore list, you know. It's, uh, yeah, I have to get a tattoo. I have to wear a dress for the entire evening. And one of the items at the bottom of the list was frolic naked in a fountain, right? <laughs> and so, literally, we go, and, and, and they had a stopwatch because they didn't want me to, 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 to get hammered beyond my capacity. So, it was like they I, they got there and they were like do three shots right now do, 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 do. and then every hour on the hour they would click and they go drink and then and you know to to maintain eight hours long we go through this whole thing i had to moon a sorority chick i had to uh, uh and by the way the way i got around the tattoo thing was i i did what uh, pendulette did which was i got a tattoo but with no ink i literally went through the entire process of having a tattoo but just without any ink and it did hurt very badly and what's great though normally if you're drunk they won't give you a tattoo but if you're drunk and you're requesting a tattoo with no ink and there's not going to be any repercussions do an entire back piece and spend four hours working on it exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly right so i get a tattoo and the whole bit the very last item is frolic naked in a fountain. They're driving the, fa the, 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 the limo along, and they're like, you got to do one more thing. And I was just like, sure, whatever. And, you know, at this point, it's been like a crazy night. And they're like, what, okay. What city or town are you in? Are you Austin, in Austin, Texas. Okay, Austin, okay. Texas, right? And so, I don't know. Are you familiar with Austin, Texas? Uh, not intimately, but we've dated. Okay, yeah. okay, good. Well, I, I don't know <laughs> if you know it, but uh, probably the single most famous fountain in all of Austin, Texas is the Littlefield Fountain at the University of Texas at Austin, right? So they pull mm -hmm. up and they're like, okay, here's your fountain. I look out and it's Littlefield Fountain. I'm just like, Psh, whatever, okay. <laughs> and I get out and I drop my dress and I'm full on naked, frolicking in a fountain. I'm, I'm throwing up the water. I'm arching my back and dancing. You know, I'm doing, I'm doing these things here where I'm just like, woo. You know, and they, they're snapping some good pictures. And, uh, and I turned around, and I was like, wow, what a great e end of the evening. That was it. Uh, we had a great, good old American sarsaparilla good time. And uh, now I get to go home. And uh, walking back, all of a sudden, I hear, boo! And just <laughs> just stopping, the lights up and everything. And, and, and I just freeze because I don't know what to do. I've got my dress in my hand, and I'm totally sopping wet and naked. And the, and the guys in the car shout, uh, shout Brian! Get in the limo. And so I run over. I get in the limo because, you know, they told me to. And they slam the door shut. And then they lock the door. The cop comes running up. He pulls on the door, sees that it's locked. And immediately his hand goes right on the holster of his gun. And he goes, open the door. Open the GD door right now. And so and so they open the door. And then he just, and he just goes, you, naked boy, out of the car. <laughs> And as if there was any question, as if there was any question, I turned to the guys and I was like, well, that's me. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so I get out of the car. He throws me down onto the, onto the curb uh, and then pulls my arms around my back and puts me in handcuffs. And everything I had heard was that once the cuffs go on you, they don't let you go. The cuffs go on you. You're going to jail. You're going to get booked and they're going to go through with this. So I think to myself, and I was like, I am going to jail. I am naked. naked. I am soaking <laughs> wet. I am wearing a dress. And I am going to jail. And, <laughs> in Texas. Yeah, exactly, right? Exactly. And so, uh, and so at this point, you know, the, 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 at this point, the one sober guy who was kind of managing all of us comes over and is like, hey, it's his bachelor party. We're just trying to have a good time or whatever. And, uh, and the guy lines us all up on the floor and, and he says, you're naked in a fountain in the most heavily patrolled part of all of Austin. And my friend Brady, in a moment of clarity, says, well, sir, that was an unfortunate fact of which we were not aware. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, basically, somehow, bachelor party was the magic word. He said, uh, he said, I never really had a bachelor party. Are you getting married tomorrow? And truth was, I was getting married for six more weeks. That was just when the schedule worked out. But I looked him right in the eye, and I was like, yes, officer. Yes, <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and so he, he, let, he let me go, and that was, uh, that was my almost getting arrested story. So what's yours? How did you almost get arrested? <laughs> well, uh, uh, just under 20 years ago, I had a particularly depraved night out with a bunch of rugby players. Caught the attention of a local constable in, uh, in the, the small town in Pennsylvania I lived in. Uh, apparently scared the hell out of him. Had a gun pulled on me, was handcuffed, thrown in a police car, held without a phone call for six hours, and uh, 
was not arrested, but I was cited for underage drinking and public drunkenness, which was the Dude, last time that's drank. way worse. Like you actually went to the jail place and sat there thinking I'm going to the jail. No, no, no. I was in the, in, in, in the very tiny town in Pennsylvania where I lived at the time. The jail, I put that in quotes, was essentially <laughs> a broom closet with two sawed off picnic benches on either side of it uh, with stuccoed walls and a big hole full of uh, dried up blood where somebody had punched it over and over again. Oh my it God! Was, uh, What's funny it was is a I was thinking, experience. <laughs> I was thinking like that's not nearly as bad, but that's kind of creepier knowing that somebody just you know pummeled themselves to to just meat sticks. Wow. Let's just say it was a it was it added a certain frisson to the whole experience. I much prefer like waking up naked in the wrong state, and not going not knowing how I got there. That's a much more pleasurable experience. <laughs> well, here's here's what I want to know. I'm not just sitting in some sort of holding cell that would be in a saw movie. <laughs> exactly. I want to know what. Uh, now that like, you mention it. <laughs> now, now if you were going to lay odds, Justin, in your life, given yeah. who you are and the type of person you are. If you're going to lay odds, yeah. will you ever go to jail? Oh, I mean, like, you know, I'll definitely, it's like betting the field. Like, I'll definitely probably lay odds that I will eventually go to jail. I think the fact that I have not gone to jail yet is really an upset already in the making. <laughs> um, you know, uh, and, and not, nothing for anything you know, serious, but I mean, certainly for something, you know, run of the mill hilarious like public drunkenness or DUI or something. Or, or shouting uh, that you're the American a hole in, uh, in Britain. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, nearly getting deported for screaming and yelling at uh, commuters on the British tube system. That, uh, I don't think it's deported, that I probably... think it's ejected. <laughs> <laughs> Thrown the hell out. All right, yeah. All right, whose turn is it? It's, uh, it's Patrick just went, so it's back to me or is it you? Uh, it is me, I believe. Okay. I go, and I am going to go with the wheel of death. The wheel of death, which, by the way, all of the wheel, you, uh, what number are you picking? I'm going to pick the number of Mario Lemieux himself, 66. All right. For those of you uh, just tuning in, the wheel of death is pretty much all about, uh, about sexual stuff, which is shocking, shocking that Justin would want to go back to the wheel of death. What do you got? <laughs> Read it out to us. The Wheel of Death is uh, number 66. Uh, never have I ever been so high, my eyes were almost shut. <laughs> my eyes I'm were almost shut? Up. It's on the internet. Okay, here we go. Um... <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Well, there's that. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, my, my video feed, it, was, I, was I it? Was I the only one? You were the only one. You were the only one. We sat there. I, I did the it's fake the out, but you actually drank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yeah, I, have, yeah. I have that problem because, like, naturally, I've got these, like, literally, I'm, and this is not a joke, this is not a bit, this is literally the widest I'm able to open my eyes, okay? By the way, you see the way it is right now. All right, ready? I'm literally as wide as I can go. That's all I got. <laughs> like, that's literally as wide yeah, as I can go. Yeah, you're like, you're like French Stewart. <laughs> that's, yeah, no, that's, that's about the closest thing. I do have that problem. <laughs> the, the French Stewart problem. <laughs> I don't know that you would call it a problem. That's, that's actually uh, when, when the doctor handed uh, you know, the newborn baby Brian to his mother. Unfortunately, he's suffering from French Stewart syndrome. <laughs> yeah. He will be he will perpetually never from. squinting from this step forward. All right. I think it's back to you, uh, Patrick. You get to pick whichever one you want. I'm going to try the Wheel of Death this time. Oh, no. and you really will get the Wheel Wait, of Death. does that death. mean that we have to do Jeremy Spears? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, that Wait, means we have to go to the chat tears. room. No. <laughs> All right, what number do you want from the Wheel of Death? I got to take 13. 13. 13. I think we already did 13. No, no, we didn't. Yeah, we did. What? No, Brian, you did. 13 is out. Okay, pick another. 133. 133. That's do, just do, shy do, of do, my do, 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 134, do, do, do. by the way. Oh, all right. This is a decent one. What? Never have I ever done the mad search for clothes when somebody knocked on the door. Oh, dude, I did that the other day. Mm. I did that this morning. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's like, uh, look, I, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to hog the conversation here, but let me explain something. <clears throat> Unless I'm working out, like I sleep in my in, in my undies and and a t-shirt, right? And that's a yeah. very comfortable way for me to be. And until I need to see someone 
Like it, it may be one, two o'clock in the afternoon till I finally <laughs> decide like, like if, if you're calling me, you better hope I went for a run earlier that day. Cause otherwise the odds are good. You're talking to a man who sounds very professional, but is in fact wearing under undies and a t-shirt. And so you every mean, like, time there's a- like undies or what, what are we talking about here? I know I dig the boxer briefs. I, I, I yeah, I, I Boxer totally. briefs. Add it to the Wikipedia people. <laughs> Brian Brushwood, boxer briefs. <laughs> you a Calvin Klein that uh, want to grow up and be like, you know. I, I'm just I'm just a Haynes man. Wait, wait, why are we talking about my underwear? Listen, uh, no, tell here. All right, go for it. Go for it. What do you got? Uh, let me tell you guys. Sorry. So uh, when I was in college, um, I shared a dorm room with a friend of mine, Sean Brucher, and uh, you know, have the, the public or the the group restroom or the shower or whatever. So I wanted to go take a shower, and I was uh, changing, and no one else is in uh, the room. All of a sudden, I hear the uh, the door open, and uh, 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 Sean comes in. And what he describes to me, I mean, I was doing it, so I don't know uh, how it was going. But basically, I was trying to get the towel onto me, but in the movement of my hands, as he described it, it was as if a windmill was uh, swirling <laughs> for like three full revolutions. Like a Man of La Mancha style windmill of me trying to get the towel around my waist. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Uh, Wheel of Death came through on that one. That's not bad. <laughs> So, uh, all right. So that's uh, it's. Is it me again? Uh, it is. Yeah, yeah. Unless Patrick has has a, has a scrambling for clothes story that he like to share with the with the internet, <laughs> with with the world. You ever deliver a pizza and have somebody come up to the beast deliver pizzas? Um, and and I actually have had someone answer the the door nude to receive their pizza. Just guy or girl. I'm really not going to discuss it any more than that. Because if I discuss <laughs> it's it, it's locked out of his image. mind forever. <laughs> Never again shall I think about it. All right. It was a, it was a bad scene. <laughs> wow. Do you, like, what <laughs> do you guy, do? Guy, girl, or hobbit? Do you remember that character from Saturday Night Live, the amorphous character? It's oh, yeah. Pat. Pat. Pat, yeah. So you honestly don't know. Maybe they were coming on to you, and you just didn't even, you didn't even know to pick up on the vibe they were putting down. I didn't even know what to do with the vibe. You they just handed me their cash. Tip. And they were, it wasn't like they were like excited or sweating or nervous or racked. It was just like, oh, the pizza's here. Give <laughs> me the cash in the box. And I just sort of blinked, turned around, went back to my truck and oh. drove back to the pizza. Man, I yeah. wish, I wish I could have that kind of intestinal fortitude where I'm just like, what's up? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you want extra sausage with that? Now give me. <laughs> I, I, I just imagine, like, uh, there's, like, a tuck situation, and they're playing the song from Silence of the Lambs. Like, you know, would you F me? I'd F me. <laughs> <laughs> he puts the pizza in the basket. <laughs> he puts the pizza on the doorstep. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Now, the worst is when you get people who are stoned out of their minds and suddenly cannot count by ones. Oh, and this awesome. was like 20 years ago. Pizza was like 12 bucks. This wasn't a long way to count. Somebody take eight minutes once to count out 11 bucks. That's hilarious. You just want to yank it out of their hands like, get there, you idiot. We set you up. All right, so let's, uh, is it back to me? Is it okay? Because I want to go chat room. It's all you. It's all, all right. you, baby. I want to go chat room, which means we got to play some all music right. to fill while we look at the chat room. Chat room, give us, give us the never have I ever and out of this glorious selections. Justin, I, I tell you what, I, I'll put it to, to actually Patrick. Patrick, if you want to pick one, or Justin, whoever's got one they like first. Oh, I like that one. All right, which one? Which one? What do you got? I'm not sure if I want the siblings or the never have I ever seen two girls, one cup. Oh, well, I mean, you know what? You said it, so. <laughs> never have I ever seen two girls, one cup. Oh, come on. All right, now here's the real question. We all drank. We all drank. Now, <laughs> never have I ever, hold on, never have I ever watched Two Girls, One Cup all the way to the end. That's the significant one because a lot of people. Oh, are, stop it, please. As they are, as we all drink again. <laughs> all right, back to you, Justin. What do you got? All right, number one. Oh, is that even a big thing? Of course you watch Two Girls, One Cup to the end. It just keeps getting better. What is, is that even a big thing? Did, did you not see two? Wait, it's Two Girls, One Freaking Cup. It's the most hideous thing in all. It's, it's Tub Girl and Goatsy rolled up in a lemon party shell. It's the worst thing of that course. ever happened to the internet. 
But, like, if you're going to start watching Two Girls, One Cup, you can't not, you know, stop it in the middle. you got to see what comes next. You know what the escalation great? is beautiful. You know it's be, like poetry. You know what would be great? Yates it's, couldn't have written it better. <laughs> you know what would be great is if somebody, like, manufactured a Two Girls, One Cup and they figured out what they could put in the middle that would get people to stop watching. So it's all Two Girls, One Cup, and you can't believe how horrific it is. And then halfway through, somebody calls somebody a racist term, and then people would be like, well, that's, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and then they just turn it off like that's that's too much sir you've crossed the line <laughs> they, they start smearing blackface on them and <laughs> doing tap dance you know, that was insensitive sir Shame that on is you. wrong on so many levels <laughs> all right all right back to uh back to what patrick patrick it's your turn or it's your or is it your turn jury oh uh, it's all me it's all me right. i am uh, i'll tell you what, i'm also gonna go with the chat room oh uh, by the way actually before we uh before we go ahead on there uh uh, Amtrucker wants to know if there's any other number he can call to be part of the festivities. Uh, yeah, he can actually call my my cell phone. He knows my cell phone number. I'll put him on 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 audio only. That's the only way because we got a Uvu channel taken up, a Skype channel, and we can get him on the audio as well. So we'll, I'll be happy to do that. But meanwhile, let's kick it over to the chat room for the next one. Let's see. Never have I ever thrown my phone at someone. Oh, I, I see. I see one that I've definitely done. Oh yeah. Well, why yeah. don't why don't you say it? Never ever skinny dipped. That's from James Earl Pones. Uh, bitch slapped someone. <laughs> Poofed in my hand. That's harsh. Um, <laughs> never ever ever seriously injured a child. Which one? Which one did you want to do that, that you actually had had done? Well, here, pick you, pick one, and then I'll admit to one as a bonus. Okay. Uh, never have I, I ever sure. puked on myself. I think that's a good one. Never oh, have I God. puked on myself. Can we? All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, uh. How does that Number one, where else are you going to puke? You know, like, then there's like an 80% chance it's going to get on you. Well, no, 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 but, but I'm talking... shoes? Oops, sorry, I can't say that on this show. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it's like, it's like first of all, it's like you, you ain't, maybe you get some splatter, but it's like, uh, but it's like, I mean, literally all over yourself. Like, that's different. Oh, yeah. No, and, and it really it is in many ways the most noble of pukes because it's the one where you want to control it and your body just will not cooperate. Like you, you feel it kind of coming up and you're like, nope, nope, got it down, got it down, got it down. And then nature just takes over. Next thing you know, it's all over your blazer and you got to pay $80 to get a cab to Hoboken. <laughs> not that you would know anything about that. What's, what's your story? No. Patrick? Oh, first of all, I've, I've, I've been in, I've been in a cab with somebody who puked all over their blazer on the way. To Hoboken. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I have puked, actually, since we're talking about Hoboken, I have puked in between two cars of the PATH train. Wow. Nice. All right. Cars. Wow. Uh, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's nothing worse than like a Metro North ride, you know, hung <laughs> over 22 stops into Manhattan when the AC is broken. Uh, it's just a horrible, oh. horrible way to spend the morning. So I, uh, uh, oh, no, go ahead. Go, you, what were you about to say? I was going to say, but if you want to go for something really good, uh, you can ask if I've never puked in a roommate's shoes. <gasps> oh. I guess at that moment, boy, isn't it amazing how it's like when you, when you feel that, that gut wrenching and it's time to go, like you suddenly become the MacGyver of orifices to find, like, you're like a shoe that'll hold it. <laughs> in this case, it was, it was, it was a guy I knew his roommate had brought home some foul flu and he had caught it, and he was so pissed off when it finally took him out, he went after the dude's shoes. Wow. <laughs> so, ah! uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I'll tell you what, that is, that is vile. I will just say, since just to complete this uh, puke and Hoboken trilogy, I will say uh, one story. Uh, one time I met uh, a friend of mine's friends who were like native New Jerseyan, who were really like they were they were uh, like the the Jersey Shore cast. They were very much proud Guidos. Uh, and I had never met them before. And we all went out drinking and they all really, really liked me afterward because I pulled this move as we were walking back to my apartment. I just kind of turned my head and as casual as one would cough on a summer's day, I just booted. Without making, without breaking my stride, I just projectile vomited on the side of the street and just kept walking and then turned oh back to talk to them. And they were that like, they're like, oh my, stick, like, oh, that was so awesome, bro, dude, bro, dude, bro, it was the best. Can you teach me how to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
The only time. Sorry, folks. It's something you're born with. The, the only time I ever accidentally exploded all over myself was uh, was I was driving a car. I was driving an old 1992 Tercel, and uh, and I I had to go to work the next day and done a little bit of partying the night before. I was fine. I thought it was, and then like maybe 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 two blocks till I actually get to the gig. Uh, I, I actually, I realized I was like, this is, this is for reals. So I'm like, I'm prepping, I'm pulling the, the, rolling the window down and I'm like, okay, it's go time. It's go time. And I go to lean out the window and this is the old style of uh, where, where it's, where it's the seatbelt. If you pull too fast, they, they, they stick on it, you know, where it's just like where it would catch if you, if you pulled too fast on the seatbelt. So I jerked yeah. forward and it caught and I realized that I was stuck and I was just like, hook, and I'm trying to lean over to lean out the window, but I'm literally trapped by the freaking thing, and it just goes all over myself. And then I, and so I show up, and I show up for for work at the gig, and I get out of the car, and it's just like, there's a reason, sir. <laughs> oh, it was it. It's, That's uh, awesome. All right, we got yeah, all right. Uh, Amtrekker is on the line with us. Brett Rounceville, what is going on, sir? Yeah, as you can hear him laughing. At, uh, at Brian's great story. <laughs> Fantastic story. Fantastic story. <laughs> In uh, your face, Brian. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Brett, what about you? Cool. Uh, yes, technically I have a couple of adulthood-centric uh, vomiting on myself stories, but the one that really sticks out is the one from uh, childhood where I I'm really ashamed that I don't have video up right now, so maybe Brian will have to act this out for me. <laughs> but uh, basically... I'm laying on the couch, right? And um, mom is staying home with me because I'm that sick that day. I'm so sick that not only am I out of school, but also my mother is out of work. And uh, suddenly I just get that rumbly in my tumbly, and I run up to go sprint, and I put my mouth over my hands because of any childhood, any child knows. You put your mouth over your hands, and there's no way, there's no way that that vomit can come out because cause you're good, you're solid. But you know what that also does? is it pressurizes the vomit when it does come out of your mouth. Oh, so all my of God. A sudden, not, only, not only do I not have any good place to throw up because I'm running towards the bathroom, but I throw up directly into my flat palm, shooting vomit in every direction in you our living the, uh, room and hallway. You got the full-on... never on, made it to the bathroom. You got the full-on Technicolor rainbow effect right there. Oh, it, was the, horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. And to date, I don't think I can ever make it up to my mother because I was too busy, like, still feeling sick in the bathroom, doing anything about it. So she's home from work cleaning up my vomit-stained oh. vom 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 walls. Oh, I, oh that just what? brings back a major flashback. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now since we have you on the line, Amtrekker, it's your turn to go. You've got three options. You can either do jury of your peers, you can go at the chat room, or go at the wheel of death. What are you going to do, sir? Uh, wheel of death? What is that? That sounds really exciting. Uh, it's actually the least interesting of the three possibilities, but pick a number between... Uh, actually, no, Wheel of Death has come through in a major way. All right, pick a number really between look at, one, look at the stats. Pick a number between one and 240. Have we gone with 42 yet? No, nobody's taken 42. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. So that's what exactly what Justin is looking up right now. What have you got, Justin? 42, you said? Yes, yes, 42. Never have I ever kicked a guy in the nuts on purpose. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've done that when I was exactly five years old. Yeah, no, I think we all did. Like, now I would be surprised if anyone here did it after ten years old because we all we all did it. But I guarantee it was before we were ten years old and we understood. Oh wait, no, and Patrick's <laughs> drinking again. Yeah, <laughs> I just, I was, so is Justin. Oh man, I guess you guys have oh, stories. God. Some men will not. Uh, no, not before. really. <laughs> you just you just went with it. Oh my god! What about Sometimes you? Sometimes you gotta kick your friend in the nuts. I'm sorry. Like, oh my god, that's it's just something that has to happen. That's terrible. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, um, I don't yeah, think I probably. have an after ten years old, but I just you you haven't you have right, or have not done it people? since ten. Hard to hear. No, no, no. Not I, after ten years old, but I distinctly remember, like in uh, first grade, I think, having this epic standoff between one bully and myself. And we're both screaming, I'm going to kick you in the balls. No, I'm going to kick you in the balls. <laughs> and then one thing led to another, and I won. I did not end up on the ground crying. You won the Rochambeau. <laughs> yeah. 
That's hilarious. I, I, I like to imagine it's like Rocky II, where like in slow motion they both kicked each other in the balls <laughs> at the same time, and it was just like who got up first. Yeah. And in the 80s, freeze frame was still a really popular thing, so it would just stop cold right <laughs> before right, we actually hit. That's right, that's right. It totally freeze just then. All right, look, we, uh, we're running short on time, so we got a couple more. Whose turn is it? It's from Brett, so I guess it starts round two. Back to what, Patrick or Justin? Patrick. Patrick, what do you got, buddy? What are you picking? Oh, let's go to the chat room. It's got to be chat room. All right, chat room, you know the game by now. you got to bring it to us. We're going to pick... Never have I ever cleaned myself with a leaf. I like that okay. one. I think we should do it just so Mitsula will stop typing it up there. Oh, because I was, I, <laughs> he's very fond of that one, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, never have I ever tried on a bra. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of uh, walk into a glass door. Oh, um, I'm, I'm all right, here, let's, uh, we got a winner. <laughs> we, we, what do you want to go with? You, you clearly liked one of those. Which one? Well, I, I, mean, I, I was thinking the whole sleeping with a sibling's sister, but I think you're into the whole glass door thing. And I, I actually, I can't say I never did, did both at the same time. <laughs> and, and I still have the scars from it. <laughs> what was the, what was the, the sister one that you were saying? So, some guy keeps typing it over, over. Never have I ever slept with my sibling or my friend's sister. Friend's sister. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's a good one. I mean, I, like, I mean, keep scrolling by like every four seconds in the chat room. <laughs> Well, that's yeah. That's the they way it will goes. be heard, Patrick, whether you like it or not. <laughs> By pure repetition. So, wh which one yeah. do we want to want to go with? You want to go up the the glass door? I, I, you know what? Actually, let's do this. Never have I ever walked straight into a glass door. Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> oh please, Everyone come on, has. come on, Brian. But like, full have you ever on. walked through a glass door? No, have you? Yeah, when I was like four. Oh my God! I like the way you reward yourself by drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it was awesome. Let me tell you something. I was four You're years only old. Four when you walked through a glass yeah, door. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, Patrick, that means either that it was a really awful glass door, or you were a beast of a four-year-old. He was trying to claim to be the Hulk, is what it was. It wasn't like a, like a big seven foot sliding glass double pane glass door. It was like a you know a seven early seventies you know swinging glass door like the winter glass door out in front of your oh, house. Oh, yeah, yeah, like a screen door and, type uh, thing, yeah. I was running into the back, I guess, chasing the dog. The dog took a left, and I kept going. Holy and, cow. Uh, put a pretty good scar, and I guess it's, it's right here somewhere. Yeah, a lot of people in the chat room are saying they have the scars to prove it. I, mean, I guess that's one of the souvenirs you get when you walk through a glass door. <laughs> All right, so that's, uh, what, back to you, Justin? What are you, what are you picking? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead with Jerry and my peers, folks. All right. So you know what? Let's let the newcomer, you, if you want to lead this, Brett, you go ahead and chime in. I don't have anything in particular I want to ask, but maybe maybe you or Patrick do. What do you say, Patrick? Oh, do you have anything? Uh, never have I ever aborted movie night watching Heat with my girlfriend to show up on a chat show that didn't have room <laughs> for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh you guys can't see me to drink Beep on that one. Beep this is ridiculous. Beep this is ridiculous. Oh my, god, dude. oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so I'm drinking, sorry. Brett. I'm drinking, but it's just, uh, it's, it's an honor. It's an honor. Tell Katie Mo we're sorry. Oh my God, dude. And we did. It's like when both Molly and Patrick flaked on us or, or appeared to flake, it was just like, please, Amtrekker, this is dumb with two people. And then you call, and I'm like, we ain't got time for you, son. I'm busy with Patrick Norton of Techzilla. <laughs> uh, and now I'll never know how he ends, ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay that's good um uh, uh barely barely uh katie mo has already tweeted out no movie night for me at amtrekker is being beckoned to appear at nsfw <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, that's too bad. I am so sorry, Brett, by the way. Okay, look, we got time for like one or two more. Uh, I guess it's to, uh, to who? You just went, Patrick. It's uh, whose turn is it? George. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. Why, why don't, why, we, we can wrap up the Never Have I Ever. We'll do a real quick rapid fire with Patrick Norton and call this uh, Monkey Radio. Uh, no. Session uh, closed for the yeah. Evening. By the huh? way, on on my great list of lessons learned, um, book guests twenty minutes before going live. I'm gonna draw a line through that one. <laughs>
apparently not my best uh, idea that I ever I, had. How about, how about randomly switch the day that we're doing the podcast to 24 <laughs> hours before we're supposed okay. to? Okay, nope, that's good. I'll, I'll draw a line through Never that one, too. Never have I ever double booked my radio show with a shoot for one of my other shows. <laughs> and, and oh! Did you have... <laughs> did, Open your mouth. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, <laughs> Dude, that's and and I you missed it because you weren't on Patrick. But I I told the story. I was just like, hey Patrick, come on, it'll be awesome. You should come on. And it was you saying, uh, I, I I don't know that that's physically possible, Brian. That uh, that that sort of clued there me in. And there, <laughs> oh, you have been there. You are you drinking on that one? Is that our official one? I'm torturing no. you for the shirt. No, oh. idiot. All right, well then allow me to be the one sole idiot drinking right now. <laughs> All right, uh, I tell you what, let's just want, let's wrap things up with rapid fire. Listen, one thing we like to do with our guest, Patrick, is we like to let the chat room go nuts on them with a bunch of either or questions. They will flow past you like uh, like water over a dam, and your job is to announce. You can cherry pick them as you like, but you will say blank or blank, and then you will choose blank if you would like to elaborate. Why? You can as long as you do it in as few as words as possible. Does that so make sense to you? red or blue, red. Red, because Dog it's not cat. blue, because yes. I'm racist. Yes, Easel thank or... you. You heard it here first. <laughs> okay, all right. Makes sense? You guys, are you ready for this? Here we go. And it's rapid fire with Patrick Norton, and it is go time right about now. What do you got for us? Go. Uh, new or old, old, kilter pan, kilts, balls or balls, balls. Oh, my God, they're going by too fast. I like Techzilla or HD Nation. That was yeah, a fun Mini one. Cooper, Mini Cooper, uh, Picard, not Kirk. Uh, Conan, not Lennon. Neither of <laughs> or Blow. <laughs> Did you say Conan or like Lennon? It's, it's starting to deteriorate into like, you know. Oh, that's all right. Uh, let me see. Oh, you're sweet and salty. Focus, Patrick. Focus. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Boots uh, or ass. Ass. We already uh, did Conan or Leno. Conan. I liked. Uh, I liked uh, Leo or Veronica. <laughs> or or no alternately Veronica or Veronica. <laughs> Veronica can, Veronica can run. Veronica actually lives in San Francisco and will hunt me down and kill me. Leo won't come to San Francisco to hunt me down or kill me. Uh, free or pay? Free. I like, uh, oh, Heron or Chang? Doctor Who or Doctor Horrible? Doctor Horrible, Heron or Chang? Uh, uh, dig or Reddit, dig. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Duh. Thermite or nitro? Nitro. <laughs> Wow, really? I would do thermite over nitro. That was interesting. Pee on your leg or vomit on your shirts. <laughs> uh, JD or beer, tequila. Skip or speed walk, skip. Fission or fusion, fusion. Yeah, Cigars or pipes, pipes. All right, uh, one more. Oh my God! They're going by. dynamite or orgasm? Orgasm? <laughs> dynamite or orgasm? I don't know, dude. I've never actually pulled the plunger on dynamite. I may actually, if I if I got hands on with dynamite and actually made stuff blow up, I might actually pick that. All right, look, let's wrap things up. First uh, of all, I guess when Dr. Dre the rapper, that. Dr. Dre the VJ. No, oh yeah, from from uh, Yo MTV Raps, right? Dr. Dre the the the, the overweight yeah. VJ, dude. I would say Dr. Dre the VJ, just because nobody else remembers the uh, the that one. <laughs> Yo, MTV. Contrarian asshole. I know. Sorry there, boss. All right, look, first of all, uh, <laughs> joining us on the line to step in for Miss Mollywood was uh, Brett Rounceville, a.k.a. the Amtrekker. Where can people find out more about you, Amtrexical? Uh, Amtrekker.com. That's where I'm always hanging out. All right. Uh, well, always? Uh, can, can we announce something? Yeah. Uh, no, we can't. We cannot announce things yet. I'm sorry, guys. Give me another week. Okay. All right. Well, for now, he can be found at Amtrekker.com and only Amtrekker.com. What about yeah, you? Only. Certainly no not working on a major new project, project right? Right on the edge of showing up. Right. Right. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, well, then that's uh, that's Amtrekker. Justin Robert Young. Where can people see you, sir? Uh, of course, itricks.com. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we will have a new Weird Things podcast, which we recorded today, available for you folks. Go ahead to iTunes and uh, and download it. And, uh, yeah, no, uh, itricks, the only place on the Internet to get magic industry news. Yeah, by the way, uh, weirdthings.com podcast, also known as Agonizing Decisions for Brian's podcast. 
dot com. Oh my God. The streak of beginning the podcast with a horrific decision for Brian to make continues. His family is not taken out of play, it's and he, uh, he is made to squirm in delicious fashion. It is killing me. All right, and of course, uh, Patrick Norton of HD Nation and Techzilla. Where can people see you besides those two places? Oh, boy. Uh... At Patrick Norton on Twitter, all one word, at Patrick Norton. And, of course, I'm Brian Brushwood. That is uh, at Schwood, at Schwood on the Twitter. If you're doing the Twitter thing, that is it for this episode of NSFW. I love all of you guys in a very, very spiritual manner. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Love you.